today is a very good practice. Uh, it's not a good sensation, good feeling, because it's very, very fast tool. But uh, we worked a lot of last week. I think uh, the, the, this tournament is a good opportunity for him because it's very good. He's a player with problems handling his game. He's a very hyper player. We even have developed techniques for him to move less quickly, like picking up three balls at once to slow him down. He starts training too fast too quickly, which can be good for some things, but it can be damaging when it's time to warm up. Usually a step better strong. It's good for the body to warm up. But he doesn't like to do that. He is not very progressive. I think he's one of the stronger players in the world for his age. He has demonstrated by competing with players that are higher ranked than him. He can handle the pressure and not many players his age can. Even players with more experience don't handle pressure as well as Rafi does. I love tennis and I'm learning many different and new things. All I try to do is give my best, play well, stay positive, and continue to get better. Rafi is faster than most players, faster than his head, also faster because of his youth. Every day he learns something new, he doesn't think like all the players or handle losing in the same way. For him, everything is new. This is the first time he's been at this tournament. Everything is a new sensation, like a kid with a new toy. Attack it, attack it. You should do it twice as fast, that's what I think. I was trying to keep up with you when you hit the ball. On my backhand? When you hit that shot and someone hits into the middle, don't try to do a backhand, it will go out. He's very mature on the court. Not only that, it's very easy to talk with him off the court, comment on his game and explain things. He likes to play tennis, not to do, you know, many things, and, but with the people, he will act normal. He's, he's a little bit shy, but, you know, it's normal. He's 17 years old, and he, but he understands why the people come to him and say, congratulations, you are the best. He understands, and the reaction is good. And I think what helps a lot is, you know, his uncle was a soccer player and was very famous, and in, 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 and in the past, he saw that before. So, and then I think this is good also, you know, he... When he was young, he saw that, and maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe inside he was thinking, one day I want to be like this, you know, I don't know. I didn't ask him. Well, I like soccer as much as tennis. I played soccer until I was 12. My uncle played for Barcelona for nine years. I believe he's played three World Cups, and he's been a great world-famous player. As a family, we get along really well. What I know is that he wants to be number one, and and he's doing the things to, to go there. You never know, because to be number one, it's tough, but he's working for that. I know Carlos very well. He's a great person even outside the game of tennis. For us, he's been great. He's a terrific example for Rafael, and he's a player that Rafi trains and plays with in Mallorca, which makes things easier for us. I mean, both hold pressure well in matches. I work with both Carlos and Rafi since they've been young, and I'm proud they have that in common. He is one of the best players in the world, a great guy, and it's been very important because we've been able to train in Mallorca together. They are very different the way they train. Carlos plays in a more analytical way, but moves with great core sense and has great ability. And Carlos has been number one in the world. I get along very well with the Spaniards. With Carlos, I have a great relationship because I've known him for so long. Good, we have finished training. Let's walk around and find something to eat. Let's go. I'm a bit scared by the dolphins. I've been told nothing will happen, but the respect should always be there.